Hello, my name is Chloe Reed and I am entering into the next top nail artist competition. Now the question was posed, why do you want to enter into the competition? Well, I've been attending the Nail Tech Network events in Orlando, Florida for the past eight years. And I just, I was interested in the competition, but I wasn't really sure that I could complete the the task. Not because I couldn't do the work, but just like of my skill set. Until I was watching Jennifer, the Nailworth Nana, and I have met her personally a few times, and she was talking on her Facebook page about retirement and moving to the next level, but still trying to stay in nails and what could she do next because of body breakdown or just being tired or, you know, the days, day in and day out of having a business. And so once I seen her entry and like just the things that she was talking about on her Facebook, I recognized that that was the same type of feelings that I was having about the nail, nail industry. I've been doing nails for about 14 years. I'm a three-time college graduate with two master's degrees, one in business and one in human resources, and my undergrad is in apparel, textiles, and merchandising. And nails was actually all I ever wanted to do. So after seeing her post, it was like, yo, she's the underdog. She came out here, she was winning challenges. If she can do it and it gives her like a new purpose or just even a new way to like still be in the nail industry without having to have a full clientele, then definitely I need to try it. My next avenue that I'm looking to get into with nails is going to be instructing because I want to show students that nails is a career that you can actually sustain yourself on and you can be more than just a person that does nails every day. You can be an educator, you can work for a manufacturer, you can open your own nail salon, or you can open a beauty supply. I just want to show the students that will be in my class the same type of things that my instructor showed me and just have them understand that you can have longevity in this business and that it's multifaceted. Beyond Jennifer, another inspiration that I had with nails is my teacher, Mrs. Larrabee. Now, I took nails in Michigan, and I currently live in Texas now, and it was 14, 15 years ago. And Mrs. Larrabee was more than just an instructor. She knew the struggles of being an independent operator. She also understood, like, you know, the different backgrounds of the students, and she just used all that information to help us achieve our ultimate goal, which was to become a successful nail tech, pass our state boards, build our business. She was so influential in my nail career because I went to school at night while I was going to um, undergraduate school during the day. And just having her there at the end of the day, like from 6 to 10, to show me the ropes was phenomenal. It was really phenomenal. So as I look into moving into becoming an instructor, I want to make sure that I'm challenging myself with new techniques with all the different avenues available to a nail person or to an entrepreneur period and also giving my students just a whole picture of what you can do and what you can become i consider myself kind of like the underdog i try to stay under the radar with everything that i do i just want to do nails have a full book and keep it moving and the challenge for me with this challenge is going to be being in front of people and more so not just being in front but like talking and explaining my techniques and, and things like that so that will be a challenge but i think i'm ready for something new it's just going to help me build confidence needed to get the same type of information out to students to show them how they can do different techniques to show them how they can travel from here or there learning about nails or even doing nails and also showing them the different avenues or career paths that you can have as a nail artist I hope you guys pick me because I'm ready for the challenge and I love doing nails. Thanks.